Tonight, the story of a little girl who might break your heart. We want to warn you, it is not easy to watch. A child whose skin is so sensitive she can blister at any moment. This valley girl is referred to as one of the butterfly children because her skin is as fragile as a butterfly's wings. Haley Francis and photographer Michael Chow report on a family who takes it a day at a time trying to give their daughter a normal life. <coughs> There is nothing that I can do as a mother to make her pain go away. There is nothing that I can do. I know. I'm sorry. Bath time offers no relief from the pain that three-year-old Lizzie Hendrickson feels every day of her life. When Lizzie was born, she came out and she basically had no skin on both legs from the knees down. It's always a surprise, you know, in the delivery room or wherever you see a, ch a baby with a bunch of blisters to, to see them. They're, they're rare. All the, all the cases are rare. Um, I only got bandages on. It was just such a bizarre time because we just kept going in and seeing the, our baby, but we couldn't really hold her. We couldn't really do anything with her. We just sat and watched her. Once they started to bring up the word EB, or the phrase EB, and we started to look at it on the internet, then we got really freaked out. It wasn't long until doctors found their diagnosis. Lizzie has a rare skin condition called epidermolysis bullosa. This little girl's skin is so fragile, even simple tasks like changing her clothes or giving her a hug can be painful. With the, a single thing like that, a child will get a blister. Or like this, you get a blister. They use the term butterfly kids for the kids that have it because their skin is so delicate, it's like a butterfly's wings. There is no cure for EB, there's no treatment for EB other than um, treating the wounds as they arise. Stuff makes me feel better. I can take them all out too. <laughs> Very fortunate that we found out over time that she has the simplex version. <laughs> Her life, although very difficult, she won't die of EB. With a better understanding of her condition and her limitations, Not too much. Nowadays, Lizzie's more like a regular three year old kid. And Goofy. And Goofy. I'm gonna shut off the light, girls. We try to make sure that she has as normal a childhood as possible. Oh, wow, I love to go to school. At school, preschool staffers know about Lizzie's disease and how to give her the special care she needs to avoid injury. And on came the light. You just have to be careful with her skin. You, you dab, you don't wipe. Wipe will tear it. Dabbing, you just dab with her skin. Her physical health is not going to be as much of an, um, a worry for me as a parent than her emotional health. I don't want her to feel that she's ugly or that she's not as capable as everybody else who may not have the wounds that she does. I don't want her to be made fun of. Kind of makes me feel like a, like a terrible mother, like I'm a failure as a mother that I have this child that is in pain or gets hurt and I can't, I can't protect her. It's a horrible feeling as a parent, you feel totally out of control. It, it's difficult for them, but they cope in ways that we admire. I go out every day just to wait at your intersection. Haley Francis, 12 News. Great little spirit. This rare disorder strikes only about one in every 100,000 people. With no cure, those with the most serious form often die before they turn 30.